everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my artsy endeavors. Have fun. Hey guys, Cindy Utter here with my artsy endeavors. How are we doing today? I'm doing pretty well. Um, guess what today is? It's time for explorations of me. And this month's prompt is which flower reflects, ref, bleh, 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 let's try that again. <laughs> which flower reflects your personality and why? Okay. So while I'm thinking about that, let's find a page. This is starting to get pretty full. I'm, I'm actually getting quite happy with that. That looks like a good page, doesn't it? Yeah, these are all one pagers. I want to do a double spread today. All right, so this is the page we are going to do. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit down and write. Um, I haven't been doing that the last few videos, and it's kind of bugged me. So I'm going to do some writing as to what the flower is that I think uh, fits my personality and why. So I'm not going to have you guys watch that. I'll be back in a second. All right, guys, so here we are. So guess what my flower is? Can any of you guess? My flower is a wildflower. Um, and it's funny, it took me a while to figure out exactly what I was going to do with this because there are so many just beautiful flowers out there. And, you know, when I started thinking about a flower, I'm thinking, where would I want to live? Do I want to be in a pot next to somebody's house or do you know just thinking like a flower per se well and i have way too much gesso on here that's all right um so i got thinking about it and i'm like well you know what kind of and honestly it has to be a wildflower and i'll tell you why i have all of my life i have moved and moved and moved and i've always going to different places and new places and seeing new things and and yada 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 right so what does a wildflower do a wildflower grows just wild wherever it wants and that's kind of how i am i just kind of go wherever i want um well i used to not so much let me back up okay i'm a wildflower right because i don't stay in one spot i just have never stayed in one spot very long and saying that this house that I'm in right now, I mean, my husband and I have been together, what, 27 years? This house is the longest I have lived in one place in my entire life, and I've been here 13 years. So, you know, and I'm 50 years old. So, um, you know, it, I, I'm always, it seems like, on the go. And this is this just so. So I'm just going to put it back in here. Um, so, you know, I think a wildflower suits me. What do you think? I think so. I can't, you know, I can't say I'm a kale lily. I can't, you know what I'm saying? I just, I can't. Wildflower's got to be it because that's me. I'm never, you know, I, I've, I've always tried to have fun doing a lot of strange things. And, you know, I'm just on the wild side. Wilder than some. Let's put it that way. So what I'm doing right now is cleaning some of this gesso off here. I just have way too much gesso. But you know what? It's all good. Okay. That gesso's almost gone. Alright, so how are we going to make us a wildflower? I think this is going to be fun. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is dry this up really well because I don't want the colors that I'm gonna put on it to get all icky. And I did do a bunch of writing underneath, and this writing that I put on there, I got a little bit, that's okay. Um, let's do it this way, I know it's gonna get on the other side, but that's all right. The writing that I put in, I basically talked about how I've never really been comfortable staying in one place. And that, to this day, is still true. Um, I 
am happier moving and doing and that's why I think mixed media really calls to me because I don't have to do the same thing every day I don't have to make a 12 by 12 square of a scrapbook page I don't have to be confined into that um, that routine that space that that dimension okay I can spread and that is why I believe I'm a wildflower so hold on just a minute all right so let's get our paint on oops you know what since i'm gonna do a lot of finger painting at least i plan on it let's get some of this art guard put on you know i i constantly forget to use it but um i know when i do use it it works really well it just makes it a lot easier for your hands to um to get the paint off your hands so in it What's it supposed to do? Act as a barrier so the toxins don't get in your skin, yada, yada, yada. All right. Huh, that wasn't a smart idea. Put that on. I can't open my paint. <laughs> All right. So, wildflowers. What does that mean? That means that Cindy is going to play. Um, I've got my Dilution paints out. This one is Polished Jade. And then I have uh, Pure Sunshine. This one is Tangerine Dream. And these just look like fun colors to me. Now, do I want to do it with a finger? Let's start with a sponge. Just because I can. Right? So, wildflower. What do you think when you think of wildflowers? I think exactly that. Just wild. Alright, I don't like how... Let's try to... Yeah, I'm not liking how this sponge is doing this. So, throw that over here. Just wipe our paint off on another page I got over here. Good Lord. I got lots of paint in that sponge. Just that little sponge, that little bit I was painting. I just painted a whole page over here. All right. So, we're going to play around with this. I just want... Come back here, you. I want to play. I want to play wildflowers. And this is probably going to take a while to dry, but that's okay. Right? Wildflowers, they don't need to be perfect. I don't know any wildflower that is perfect, do you? And then let's just put some small ones here and there. All right, so there's our wild color. Let's go, I want to do some of this blue. So what kind of flower are you? I'm really excited to see, um, you know, what you guys come up with. You know, I haven't seen a whole lot of postings doing my year or my I'm sorry explorations of me and I would love to see more so um, you know don't be shy definitely show us what you're doing um, we just we'd love to see it and again I don't need to see a perfect um, journal page that's not what this is about um, this is about just exploring yourself and looking at yourself in different ways than you normally would. You know, I normally don't pick up an art journal and say, well, geez, I'm going to draw a wildflower today because that's me. Um, it's just about looking at yourself differently and saying, huh, you know, maybe I could be that kind of a flower. Why not? What about this? What about that? You know, again, it's explorations, just explorations of you and just play play with your paints and play with your colors and just enjoy what you're doing all right i want to dry these up actually i want a little bit more i don't like the way that one looks we're just gonna and then we're just gonna have so much fun with these these are going to take a little bit to dry so i might have to come back to this i will try my best but i want to do some pen work on here i think it would be fun um, you know what? I think I need some kind of a green though too. 
That's a jade. Let's see what we've got for a green. Hold on. That's what my grandbaby says. Grandma, hold on. Got some of this olive green, which I'm going to use. Let me use this one. If I can get it open. Yeah, this, this one is... Um, Chopped pesto. Sorry, it's not olive. It's chopped pesto. And I just want to put, I don't know, just some, 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 somethings. Some, some, somethings in here just to play. Why not, you know? All right, now let's take... I want a real tiny paintbrush. That'll work. And now I'm just playing. I'm just, I'm not doing anything in any particular order. I'm just playing. Because why not? We can play, right? We're all wildflowers at heart. Have you ever thought you wanted to just go off into somewhere unknown and just explore? Oh, I'd love to. If I would, When I was younger, I couldn't do it now, but when I was younger, if I would have had a job where I could just go play and um, just explore new and exciting things... Oh, God, that would have been awesome. That would have been all me. But unfortunately, that is not the way my life went. So that's okay. Now I've got this one. Um, this one is Fresh Lime. Ooh, this one is needs a spurt. A spurt. <sighs> Now, all this is is water. Um, I did take a class with Diane Reevely, um last year, the end of last year. And basically what she stated is every time you open them, because you leave them open for quite a while and they have such a big place for the water to evaporate, just to add a little water to them, shake it up. And you end up with, uh, that one's still thick, but that's all right. I think I need more water in this one, but that's okay. It's all good. It's all good. So I'm just playing right now. Yeah, I want more water in that. Maybe I should put glazing medium or something like that in it, but that's okay. I'm doing it the way the owner said to do it. <clears throat> Come on, I gotta put the top on though so I can shake it. A little better. Just playing. I know it looks like, ugh, what a mess. Looks like I'm not even touching some of them, but I'm not. I don't know, one thing just came to mind. Um, you guys have heard of, I'm sure you've heard of Tracy Porter. She's a designer. Um, she designs a lot of stuff. I was watching her videos there for a while. Her and her family moved to Nicaragua. And it's like a just this tropical paradise is what it looks like. <laughs> and I just thought to myself, I was just sitting here thinking about wildflowers. And I'm like, you know, I couldn't imagine... Um, you know, I could imagine myself doing it when I was younger, but not to have my entire family and take that and go. I just, I don't know. I don't know if I'd be able to do that. But it's really cool. So, 
All right, guys, I need to let this dry because there's so much more I want to do to it. But for now, I'm going to pause you and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so yay, it's the next day and this is nice and dry, which is what I wanted it to be. So um, before I get more into that, let me bring it out a little bit because I don't know, I was doing something else. So let me put this aside for right now. That's my wildflowers. Um, but what I'm going to do here, remember we talked about, I'm just, I, I feel like I'm a wild child, which I am. Um, these are, I believe, Dina Wakely stamps. I found these, I think, in Hobby Lobby on clearance. And I just love this sketchy look. How can I, hmm, let me show you. Hold on. Let's see if you can do it this way. Yeah, there we go. I just love the sketchy look of these girls. And I thought, you know, I really, I want to use these. So, this is the one I'm going to use. And I'm going to do her on archival ink. Now, this um, is Gina Aarons. We all know the lovely Gina. This is actually part of her packaging um, that she has in her stencils. And one thing I noticed, first of all, is there's so many really cool words on here. Um, there is no right way. There's no wrong way. It's only your way. Um, she also has have fun and be expressive. Um, just really cool words in here. Art journaling, mixed media, uh, texture, create, create, design, backgrounds. I mean, there's just so much in here that you could use. But I really like um, this. Was it this one right here? This part, I think this will go really well right here with my wildflowers. So, and of course, you know, this is explorations of me. So it's all about me, right? Same as yours is all about you. You may decide that, you know, you're a kale lily or you're a poinsettia or whatever. And just make sure you do it um, based on you. Not anybody else, just you. And you know what? I don't, yeah, I do want the whole thing. So I really want some of that yellow in there. So let's go right here. Once I make up my mind where I want it. Yay! All right. Um, and for some reason, my apron and everything else is not here. So I will just take this. Let's wipe off the right one, Cindy. All right, so I'm going to put that down there. Now what else? I shouldn't have wrote that off with a paper towel. It gets fuzzies on it. It says... Be fabulous, you're styling, she does trust your stuff, she believes she could, she did, she's unstoppable. Yeah, no, I don't want any of those words. So, I am going to use this one, which says completely. And again, this is just, I don't even know where I got these, probably Hobby Lobby on clearance. I buy 90% of my supplies on clearance. I don't, I don't like spending full price for anything. So, come off. All right, so this just says completely. I'm just gonna ink it up and then I'm gonna put it right here. And there we go. Now, I'm gonna find something else besides that. I have all these little projects laying all over my desk here. It's driving me crazy. I need to get some of them done. So here is this one. So we're going to let that dry. And while that is, it should be dry by now, but while it's doing its thing, top on that. All right. All right, so let's bring back our wildflowers. <clears throat> I don't think I need this anymore. She's going to go down in here somewhere. And actually, that is not dry yet. And I think it's because this paper that it's on is like a glossy paper. It's not a, it doesn't have um, somewhere for the ink to sink into. So we're just going to set that aside and let it dry some more. Okay. Now, the reason I did the flowers like this, you're probably thinking, ugh. Yeah, that's what I thought when I first did them. But I am going to take, ouch. I am going to take a, just a white Uniball Signo. Um, I may end up using a couple white pastas. And we're gonna doodle on these flowers. And here's what I was thinking. What I'm thinking, 
is to just kind of play with them. I just want to play with them. You know, I just want to just play because, you know, they're, they're wildflowers, right? Let me bring it in a little bit. You see that? Just, just play. You know, and wildflowers are not perfect, as we all know. They're just fun. So maybe this one doesn't, it's not open all the way yet. So let's just kind of give it a little bit of white stuff. Uh, it needs to have a white center though. There's the white center. Same thing here. This one's not quite open all the way. And all I'm doing is I'm just very lightly doodling on these flowers. I mean, that's that's really all I need to do. I'm going to put a white center here. Yeah, we'll bring it. I'm just throwing some white on here to make them look, see, doodly. Doodly. This picture of flower, this picture like this. Do, do. So I'm really, really excited. I can't wait to see um, what, what you guys come up with because it's just so fun, you know? Um, I like to, you know, think of ourselves uh, outside of the normal human form, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, like what, what animal would we be and what, you know, what flower and why? Why does it speak to you? Why does that flower's... Um, thought or why does that flower speak to you? This is too big of a pen. I want smaller. So I'm going back to my Sharpie. And I'm just doodling. Put down some dots. And you know, they don't have to be perfect because what wildflower, what flower, really, actually, any flower is perfect, none. Absolutely none. So, you know, just have fun with it. Have fun and, and play and see, you know, what your flowers might look like. You know, maybe your flowers are, um, you know, big petals or big leaves. Maybe they're you know, little tiny buds, little tiny, tiny, tiny wildflowers. You know, what are they? They could be anything, right? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, like I said, I'm playing, having fun, enjoying. And, you know, that's where my art needs to be. My art needs to, um, I've had some major changes over the last few days. Let's put it that way. And, you know, it's okay. It's okay. I, you know, I'm still going to be doing art. I'm still going to be sharing um, what I want to share with you guys. And, you know, it's all good. It's all good. All right. So what I'm going to do, I am not going to make you painstakingly sit here and watch me do this to all of the flowers. See, isn't that cool? I love them. So let me go ahead. I'm going to finish doodling up my flowers and then we'll come back and hopefully wrap this up. So I'll be back in a bit. Okay guys, so here we go. We ended up with wild. I am a wild flower. I hope you guys enjoy this spread. Like I said, I didn't do a lot of the doodles um, with you guys watching because it was just, I had fun playing with this page. So anyways, check out the links in the video um, in the description box below. Check out the other artists that are going to be doing this with me. And I can't wait to see what kind of flower you are. And you guys take care. And we will talk to you soon. As always, have fun. That's what life's all about. And happy creating. Bye. Hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind. Have fun. That's what life's all about. And happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.